This is going to be the first video in a three-part video series about the coyote senses. This first video will discuss coyote vision. The second video will discuss coyote hearing. And the third video will discuss the coyote sense of smell. All right, let's get started with coyote vision. Coyote vision is best understood when compared to our own vision. Let's talk about three different aspects of coyote vision, how clearly they see, how well they see in low light or darkness, and what types of colors they can see in their vision. So first, when you talk about visual acuity, it's how clearly you can see something. I have glasses on because without them, my visual acuity is poor. Glasses help me to have 20-20 vision. A coyote actually has 20-75 vision, so they do not see as clearly as a human. To compare, a human can see, let's say, an object at 75 feet. In order to see that object just as clear, a coyote would have to be at 20 feet. Thus, the 20-75 vision for a coyote compared to the human's 20-20 vision. All right, next let's discuss low light vision. A coyote has much larger eyes, much larger lenses than a human. This allows a lot more light into its eye. That's an advantage and a disadvantage, which I'll explain in a second. Also, when you actually look at the anatomical structure of the eye, a coyote only has two cones. Cones give color, and a human has three cones. Now, in that extra space, Coyotes got rods that humans did not get. So basically, they received more low light sensors than a human. So when you combine the larger eyeball, the larger lens, and more rods, that equates to coyotes can see five to six times better at night than a human. Or thought of another way, a human needs five to six times more light to see the same as a coyote at night. Now there is a disadvantage. Unfortunately for the coyote, in very bright light, it has a lot of issues if it looks directly into the sun because it can't constrict its pupil as small as a human can constrict our pupil, or in an extreme case, a bobcat which can constrict its pupil almost entirely closed and look into the sunlight. So although it has an advantage in low light compared to a human, it has a serious disadvantage when looking directly into bright sunlight. Um, coyotes are terrific at picking up movement, much better than a human. We can pick up movement, but it doesn't compare to a coyote. So although they might not see as clearly, they will detect an object that moves or is contrasting to its environment much sooner than a human. So if you're gonna photograph or hunt coyotes, you don't necessarily need a special type of camouflage. What you need to do is not to move and you need to not contrast. You need to blend into your surroundings and if in daytime, always cover your face. Okay, so finally let's talk about color vision for coyotes. The human eye has three cones. We have a blue cone, a red cone, with reddish orange cone, and a green cone. Those three cones in combination allow us to see the full spectrum of Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, blue, violet. However, a coyote only has a blue and a yellow cone. So when looked through a coyote's eye, the whole world is blue and yellow. What this means is that different colors on our color spectrum appear lighter or darker to a coyote eye. The darkest or dullest color to a coyote is red. That's why you often see people at night using red lights when they pursue coyotes. The reason for that is because on their two-cone spectrum, that color red just does not really provide much light, much pop to its eye. It appears almost like a dark yellow, a dark mustard color to the coyote. 
So some people will say, hey, coyotes don't see red. Well, you have to think about that. That's true. They don't see the color red, but they do see light. It's just a much darker, duller form of light. And then finally, just to throw in field of view, humans have a 180 degree field of view. A coyote has a 220 degree field of view. So coyote definitely can see a wider field of view than a human. And in fact, a wolf with a larger skull can even see a little bit further. But if you want to contrast a deer to a coyote, why a coyote has a 220 degree field of view, a deer is going to have a 280 degree field of view. So I hope that understands um, or makes it easier to understand coyote vision. In my book I go into a lot more detail in a lot of other areas, but for purposes of a short video, I hope this helps you out. Thank you.